I know what you're thinking. Is this a hoarders episode? And I promise you it's not. It could probably pass as one, but this is my walk-in closet and it has become a storage room for unlisted inventory for Mercari originally. Now I'm back on eBay, so I'm planning on going through seeing what will sell on eBay. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna pull everything out of this closet. I'm gonna do a haul, show you some of the items that I have that I plan to sell on eBay. Uh, probably not everything, because we'll be here all day. Um, I'm also donating a ton of stuff and I'm going to redo my closet. I'm going to paint, I'm going to get everything organized. So if you wanna see that, definitely stick around. All right, so it is finally cleared out. I need to paint. I also need to do the floors, but I'm actually gonna wait on the floors. I did go and buy the flooring that I need, um, but I'm gonna wait because it's a little trickier when you have to put the flooring down in between these little shelves. So um, up there, I'm really not gonna mess with that much. I am gonna reorganize the clothing. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get into some of the stuff that I pull out the closet. Just in case you're wondering where it all went, ta-da! Yeah, that's a lot of stuff, and that was all in that little closet. So this stuff I'm gonna be going through now. So here we go. Okay, so now we are sitting here with all of the junk. It's not necessarily junk. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I have to keep reminding myself that. But yeah, this is everything that came out of my closet. These are items that I originally purchased to sell on Mercari because at one point I was like, to heck with eBay. I don't want to sell on eBay. I'm done. I'm tired of their crap and I left the platform. Well, I'm back <laughs> because I'm, you know, the money's good on eBay. It really is good. And I really think that all this stuff will do much, much better on eBay than it did on Mercari because obviously it didn't do well on Mercari because I still have it. So I'm gonna go through real quick, show you some of the things that I have. Let me know in the comments if you think something that I have isn't really worth it. Obviously I'm going to comp these items as I'm editing this video and I'll have the comps in the video to show you basically what they're selling for on eBay. I will look at sold comps on eBay and completed listings. So let's go ahead. First thing is this Phillips um, July 2014. Probably not gonna do too hot, but this is a model PD9012M-37. It's a DVD player. Um, if it's a DVD player, then it must be missing a part because I don't see where the DVD would go. And yeah, I guess you plug it into here and put it on the back 
of your car seat, I guess. So yeah, um, just the screen and it's got like the volume controls and everything. I don't know. We'll see how that does. Um, I have this old doll that I picked up. I don't remember where I got it. I think it was his house or maybe Goodwill. She does have marking on her back. This is 1963 and the company is EEGEE -E -E Company. So she's really freaky looking and we'll see. She's kind of dirty. Like I need to wash this but I'm afraid to take this off and wash it because it's old and I don't know what to do. Um, this is velvet teen or velvet. Um, so she is also missing a shoe. But yeah, another one I don't know what to do with. This I will be using to display bracelets that I'm selling because I'm going to venture into selling jewelry on eBay only eventually. Once I get rid of all of this stuff, I'm going to try to find a niche of some sort that is not clothing because clothing is saturated. AF. <laughs> All right, so this is a cool little piece that I got from uh, Goodwill for $2.89. It is a ashtray. It's a smoker's pipe ashtray, and this is uh, Parma by AAI, made in Japan. I mean, I saw it and I was like, well, it probably won't go for too much, but I'm sure I could get about 10 bucks out of it. Uh, we'll see. All right, so also I found this and I also found another one at another thrift store just like it except for it was pink. So I'm planning on spray painting these white and putting these on the top of the closet to keep our other shoes on. Not not my stop my inventory. My inventory has got racks in my storage unit, but for our personal shoes. Um, so yeah, when I do the reveal of the closet, you'll see it'll be done. So um, yeah, so these good little organization items. Um, this is a light bright. It's got all the pieces with it. I don't know if I should put it on eBay or if I should just put it on Facebook Marketplace. You know, I might just cross post a lot of these things to Marketplace. Um, but yeah, we'll do that. And then a Monopoly game, which I think I took the pieces out. No, I didn't. So it's got four pieces, five pieces, one, two, three, four, five. So it's got all the pieces to it. Um, might sell it. I, I don't know yet. Don't know. All right, so the next stuff we have some Build-A-Bear clothing, which I know does really well. So I will be listing that. Um, and then we also have, oops, a Build-A-Bear, uh, like a kitty cat. I don't think it's ever been used. It was bought, it was in this bag whenever I bought it. I haven't taken it out. So it's just this kitty, you know. Um, we have an umbrella. This came from the Goodwill pellet I think I got a while back. I'm not superstitious, so I don't care. Um, this, it's like a Japanese, I forget the name of them. Um, I will post what it's called down below if I can find it. But yeah, this one, it's okay. It does have some tiny little holes. Not really. Well, it's got one right here. So there's a little tiny hole right here. But that's it, just that one spot. So, um, you know, I could put it on auction. This goes with that. And I don't know what this is. This is from Salvation Army. I got it for $1.99. This is like a, I don't know. What do you call that? It's really pretty. Um, but yeah, I'll probably use like a reverse image search to find what this is. All right, so the next piece I have is this Fantasy Collectibles Porcelain. It's like a mug from 1982, and it has a Pegasus on it. This one uh, was 50 cents. Don't know where it came from. Uh, next item is an Avon piece. This is the Avon Floral Bud Vase, and it's just that. Just a vase from Salvation Army. I paid $2.98 for it. Probably was a waste of money. Um, also, pardon me, I have paint all over my hands, so... Yeah, this one's pretty cool. It is a Miss Piggy mug, which I personally like. So, you know, I grew up watching Muppet Babies. Um, this one is Taste Setter by Sigma. And it's got like, I'm not going to take the sticker off, but anyway, it's, it's a nice little mug. And it doesn't have a price tag on it, so I'm not really sure where that came from. 
Oh, so apparently I have two goblets. That's what they're called, goblets. Um, so it was two for a dollar ninety nine. So that's cool. Um, I need to get these on eBay because I'm sure somebody would like these. They're really pretty. Also, I'm painting inside of my closet because where I'm gonna start taking photos. One of those cubbies is gonna be like my new studio area. Um, but yeah. So, this was another find from the Salvation Army, and as you can see, it is this cherub porcelain lamp. Um, I have not tested it, but I didn't care. <laughs> it's really pretty. Um, I, it's missing the globe that goes up here, but I didn't want to leave it behind because it was so gorgeous. It is vintage. Um, it's got the plug. It looks like somebody tried to redo it, but... Um, I'll probably sell this on Facebook Marketplace. Might put on eBay, on auction maybe, just to get my money back. Okay, so I have bags of jewelry. This is kind of why I wanted to start niching into uh, jewelry selling because I have so much jewelry to sell. Um, I mean, I have bought so many huge bags of mystery jewelry from uh, Goodwill, from multiple thrift stores that bag them up. Um, and I find really good pieces all the time, even just single pieces. Uh, I think it's completely worth just venturing into jewelry only. So a lot of this jewelry I'm going to put aside and eventually I will be doing just jewelry and this is my starting inventory. So, um, there's a lot more where this came from. Like I have a lot more. This is just a bag that I apparently didn't realize I had in the closet. All right. So the next piece is something that came from the Amazon store. I call it the Amazon store. It's like, it's called Dream Deals. I'll post a video up here and I guess I tell you more about it. I don't know. Anyway, so this is a plant holder and I do have the other piece, the hanger. It's in another bag. I know I have it, so I'm going to put this aside until I find that and I will probably throw that on Poshmark. Um, all right. This will be redonated. Um, it, I didn't realize it had been broken already, but if you can see it, there's like a crack where they repaired it. Um, it's pretty cool. I like picking up old ashtrays. This one says 730-1 Calif. So I guess California is where it was purchased or made. It's just a glazed over vintage ashtray. I'm gonna get rid of that. I bought this during Christmas. This is a Norman Rockwell mug. Um, $1.94 Goodwill. I got that was 50% off. So yeah, about 99 cents, something like that. And then in this bag, I have a set of, are they all the same? Yes. They're all votive, like votive candle holders. So I will sell that as a set. It will not go for much. Um, Oh, this is for my outdoor umbrella that I bought from Goodwill. This is a Starbucks cup. I didn't realize there was a lot of cracking on the inside, so I'm going to redonate this. These are football cards, I believe. Um, you know, I don't know much about football. And I could probably sit down and go through every single one of these cards. But I don't want to. I literally just sold a huge box of... Magic the Gathering cards that I got from Salvation Army. I paid 25 for them. I started to price them and I said, this is for the birds. I don't have time. So I threw it on an auction with a minimum bid of $30. It sold for $49. Um, I don't know, you know, it could have been a lot of money in that. I don't know. So same way with this, I'll probably, since there's not as many cards in here, I might go through them, but yeah I doubt it so I might just throw it on auction for 99 cent just to get rid of it I don't remember where it came from I think it came from his house for like a dollar so there's that this is a uh, Japan FF so this is a Fitz and Floyd 1972 this is Ann Raggedy Ann um, it sounds like there's sand inside of it. Uh, she is missing her Andy. So that, I'll just sell that. Most all of this stuff, I'm probably gonna sell on auction just because it might go quicker. This is a Raggedy Ann and Andy, a Raggedy Ann. Uh, music love story made in Japan. 
Joy Box. You've probably seen these things, and I've done videos with these things already. <laughs> it's like I'm doing another video with the exact same items because I still have them almost almost a year later. So that's sad, Vicky. Um, this right here is a Tiger 2-XL. Some kind of robot thingy. I gotta find the bottom. I had it and I set it down somewhere over there. Um, it takes the batteries, but I can't get it to work. So it's gonna be sold for parts. Um, I did have a tape. Oh, it has the tape right here that's in it. So I don't know. We'll see. But I don't think it works. And I got it for like six bucks at Goodwill. This is just a Tyve or Tervis. Um, it's a Ronald McDonald cup. I don't think it's really gonna do anything. Um, somebody said that you can like get replacements for Tervis or something. I don't know. But yeah, so there's this Ronald McDonald. It says Swaggy Lock, Swage Lock, something like that on it. Um, we'll see. Probably gonna redonate. Fool's Gold. Oh, this little guy is already listed on Poshmark and eBay, so I need to put him aside so I don't lose him. I've got to get all this stuff organized, and it's going to be going into the garage in bins, so I know where everything is. But i got to go buy bins tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, this is an Xbox 360 camera thingy. Um, I think I paid like $2 for it at his house, and... I don't know if it works. I'm going to just throw it on auction. Sell as is. We have a Mickey Mouse. I paid some money for him. Not a lot. Um, I don't see the price tag anymore. But it is the little Mickey Mouse from Fantasia. I think. He's really cute. He does stand up. Well, not on me, but he's a standing Mickey. And he's cute. You know, he's about the size of a one or two year old kid. So, cute little thing. Um, the back of him, underneath his outfit, he does like he's been restitched, which is fine. Um, and then, underneath, he's got like the red britches. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. I'm assuming so. This is Walt Disney Company. That's about all it says. It doesn't say anything else. So, um, I did comp these. Some of them were selling for a decent amount. Some of them were not. So we'll recomp him and see what he's going to go for now. <clears throat> okay, this right here. Let's see. So this was my daughter's. She doesn't want any more because she is not a girly girl, apparently. Um, it's just like this cute little aerial. It's a, you know, little picture decor. It's really cute. Makes me sad. She just wants anime everything now. Um, glue gun I'll probably keep for myself because you can never have enough of those as a reseller. So I'm going to keep that. This right here is a old movie camera. This is a Super 8, isn't it? Uh, yep, Super 8. Um, my grandmother loved cameras and she had lots of these. Um, but this I think I got from Goodwill or his house, one of the two. Um, it actually has a movie in there. I wish that I could see what was on that. But I don't know how because I think you have to like use some special something. That's awesome. It has the case and everything and it even has like the... Um, it came from Walmart on North Arrowwood Road. That, I mean, Kmart. That Kmart is not there anymore. I think that Kmart has now turned to a PetSmart. Um, but yeah, it's uh, got the little... It, it came from Kmart. Back in the day, that's where everybody went. Sears, Kmart. All my grandma's cameras came from Kmart or Sears. Um, then we picked this up. This is Captain Kid by Legend Products, 1985. There's another one. I've got to find the other piece, but there's another dude's face. They're wall hangings. And, you know, maybe somebody who likes pirates will see this and be like, ooh, I want that just for decor. Not, I don't know who it is. I'm assuming it's somebody. Um, you know, maybe from a TV show or whatnot. But yeah, um, there's a couple little spots that need to be 
uh, repainted, but besides that, pretty cool. And then I have these Dungeons and Dragons player handbooks, one, two, and three. Excellent condition, brand new, practically. Um, I have them in my drafts on eBay, but I haven't listed them yet, so I need to go ahead and get those listed. Um, I'll probably just sell all three together. And then I have a ton of Pokemon cards. So these came from um, the Magic the Gathering box. These were in that. These right here were in a Goodwill palette. If you didn't see my video where I bought Goodwill palettes, I'll link that up here. But yeah, that's what this was. So I have to go through this still and see if there's a million dollar card. I don't know. Who knows? There could be something good in here. Um, I hope I haven't damaged them. That's all I can see. All right, so we got like a Vera Bradley wallet that I used. A uh, Target wallet that is mine as well. I've got this Coach wristlet. It's really cute, but it's got ink on it, and I don't know how to get the ink off. Um, if you have any ideas on how to do so, let me know. But this came out of a Goodwill palette as well. Um, I got a Atari handheld like joystick. You know, these are pretty cheap. Um, you can get it for like, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks now. I paid four bucks for it. So it does work. We have played it. I remembered why I did not like growing up in the 80s. Um, because the game sucked. Um, no offense to those of you who think it's amazing. But, yeah. I'm not saying the games now don't suck too. We have some pretty crappy games. So the next thing is this egg tray. It's like a milk glass with a gold plated uh, detailing on the edges really nice um there's so much more to go through i'm only i'm gonna stop it here in a minute i got the mousetrap game got this from the bins a while back i love this game i remember watching the commercials on tv whenever i was a kid wanting this game so freaking bad my dad would not get it for us i lived with my dad at that point my parents just split up um he wouldn't get it for us my mom wouldn't get it for us my grandma wouldn't get it for us my cousin had it, so any chance I got to go to my cousin's house to play Mousetrap was an amazing time. Um, it was just so freaking cool. Like, I mean, look at this. If you've seen the commercial, you know this was an amazing, an amazing game, especially in the 80s. This one came out in... Well, this, this one particularly is from 2005, but it's been around for a very, very, very long time. Great game. Okay, so I also got an Operation game, which I don't really think comes with anything except for the pieces, which are all here. Um, needs batteries, so um, I will throw this on eBay. Um, and this one is Bed Bugs, which is basically almost identical to Operation. It's one of those vibrating games. Um, this particular one, 1985, and it's just the bed. It's got all the pieces to it. Um, it needs C batteries. And Hello, editing Vicky here. So I apparently didn't record the next part of my video which I thought I did but apparently I did not so I don't know what happened there I apologize so that part has been cut off so we are going to skip to the next day which is the reveal of the closet so let's go all right so this is just a couple things that I will be donating I actually have more to add to this and let's get on to the closet and this is how the closet turned out I bought some little bins to put into the little cubbies, cleared stuff from over here, and did some painting. Uh, lots of storage space now. Uh, did not finish the floors. I will do that at a later date. And yeah, those little shoe racks suck. I don't recommend them. I put my bags on a little shelf. Those are my eBay bins. That's the stuff that I am keeping to resell and I have space to get some more. And then I've got some extra cubbies with some Beanie Babies that I have to sell on eBay and more space, clothes, clothes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm gonna pan over so you can see the aftermath. I still have to finish cleaning that, my kid doing her homeschool. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. That is it for me, so have a great day, take care and stay safe. Bye.